Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for August 23rd, 2021. So I hope everyone had a restful weekend and we're ready for another week of possible volatility with a considerable number of economic reports this week that do have the potential of moving us around. But we are coming off of a nice little Friday relief rally that is improving things pretty dramatically and may even see some new record highs coming in the very near future. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink, let's settle into our office chairs and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here today. I truly appreciate it. You know, every every time I take a look at some of the statistics and see how many people that are watching these videos, I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and thank you so much. Let's take a look at uh, some of these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, last week, we saw a nice little relief rally coming into play after some ugly selling here in the market that actually broke some support levels in the charts. But overall, we kind of held in here nicely and you can see we surged back up here. Now the Dow, the Dow I'm gonna say, fell just short. I'm gonna throw some lines on here. On Friday, fell just short of really breaking through um, that resistance level up there. But this morning you can see in the pre-market we're showing that bullishness. We're trying to gap through that level this morning. Yet we do have some economic data that could change things here. It could either improve or worsen things this morning. But looking much better here in rallying back up. Now you guys know that the important thing for me uh, before I become very bullish on a chart, once a support level has been breached, I want to see that price action of that index or stock rally back above and then prove to hold. Because we can rally above, but if we fail here, um, that doesn't make um, any improvement. As a matter of fact, it creates that possible lower high. We do want to recognize that there is that possibility that that could occur. Notice this consolidation over here could be a shoulder a head and we could be building that next shoulder out here so we do want to be aware of that and we don't want to be um, just blindly rushing into trades i'm not saying that you can't trade bullishly or that you shouldn't trade bullishly just be careful chasing in case and always be aware you know um august September, October can typically be kind of challenging and choppy. So just remember that any of these points along the way up here, we could find that price resistance or those bears could be um, emboldened again and uh, give us a push back down. So just watch that carefully. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now the SPY had a much better day on Friday. Um, closing above some resistance. I'll show you where I mark some price resistance in the chart right here. Blue right through that and we're continuing to surge. Now, a good portion of that just happens to be that the NASDAQ is really bouncing back and it's the big tech leading that charge. Although we did see a little bit of an improvement and I'll show you on some of those internals, but um, leading that charge here. So what we wanna watch carefully for in this chart is as we push up here toward price resistance levels up in here, we'll wanna be watching that pretty closely for that possibility that we could bang our head into something and just see a pullback. And remember, we've got that econo economic data too kind of concern ourselves with as well. So watch that closely. Then if we take a look, by the way, I, I, I want to say that this is a pretty nice recovery. And um, as long as we can maintain this and hold above this price support, I think we're in pretty good shape here on the spot. But again, it's an if until we prove that we can hold up there. And then if we take a look at our QQQ, now QQQ has been locked in this 
nasty little consolidating zone. And I have suggested in the past that if we broke this support, there would be some serious problems. But we held just right on to that little support area right there and bounce back up. Now, unfortunately, we still have, you know, the problems where we could just continue to bounce around in this range. But I want you to notice that this morning we're pressing to the upside and looking for a possible breakout here in the NASDAQ. And it's just really, really remarkable how strong the surge into big tech is concerning inflation and all of those things. We just don't seem to have any worry about that at all. So as they continue to pile back into this, be careful as we approach that resistance level. That could be where we kind of trip up and see a little bit of pullback. So watch that closely. Now, if we break out above up here, hold that as support, then we're golden. and We have more upside potential here in the queues. Now, IWM, that poor IWM has been the weakest in the market. And I had suggested for some time that I expected the 200 day moving average to be tested in that chart. We certainly got that in that move. And I mentioned on Friday, what was going to be really critical is if we held on to this price support. Notice we've had all these tests in this area that we held that and we followed through on Friday nicely with a push up. It took a while to get going, but we pushed on up. Now we have to be um, in consideration of this resistance, all of this choppy price resistance in this chart. Now, one of the things that's going to help this, we're seeing oil perking up a little bit today. And with oil perking up, that will certainly help support IWM. But we still have to remember, we are not um, fixing this index just yet. Notice that that 50 day moving average has now turned lower. And we could quickly meet that 50 day moving average here as it continues to drop. And if price continues to rally toward resistance levels, we could quickly meet that um, on that way back up. So watch that carefully as our technicals are deteriorating here on the Russell. Although the other indexes are staying very, very bullish, this one is starting to show problems. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at um, our VIX. Now our VIX had a nice little pullback on Friday and I've mentioned this several times before that what's going to be important is that we don't hold a, this support level. There's a lot of price action. This goes back a long ways. A lot of price action in there on that support level. So breaking back down through this on Friday was a good sign and helped us quite a bit. Let's keep in mind that we tested this uh, this upper area here pretty hard and ended up holding it as resistance. Breaking back down below this level here was a good sign. But we also have to keep in mind we have this little bit of a downtrend right in here. and We've been holding these lows. So what we don't want to see here, I think, in the VIX is we don't want to see any hold of this little downtrend as support. If that were to hold and we were to make a higher low, that's where we could run into a little bit of fear, a little bit of problem. So watch that closely. Now, one, one of the things we do want to point out here, I want to point out, is when we get these big whipping candles like this, um, that means considerable price volatility in the market. And we've seen that in option prices, bid ask spreads, widening, those kind of things. Watch carefully here because um, there's nothing about these big spiking candles that say, that as far as swing traders, position traders, that we have a whole lot of edge yet. We want to see that calm down just a little bit. But that said, this pullback on Friday is definitely in favor of the bulls. And if they can maintain that and continue to push that lower, maybe we um, start clearing this path forward a little bit and looking a little bit... Um, a bit more on the bullish side, although we've been so choppy. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now, T2122 um, rallied nicely on Friday, but 
I think this is kind of interesting in the fact that we're pressing new record highs in the QQQ and SPY surge dramatically back up. But what I want you to notice here in T2122 is we still have a great deal of stocks that are not doing all of that well. Notice that we pushed back up. We didn't even quite make it up here to that 50% area. Um, in middle ground. Now we're going to surge probably through that this morning, but I think it is notable that we seem to have fewer and fewer stocks um, being able to push us to these record highs. And what that means to me is we have to be a little bit careful as we push up if any of those um, um, you know, choice stocks that are that are pushing us up happen to slip. That could be a real problem for us. So watch that carefully and closely. That's why I say some of these internals are a little bit um, concerning still. So watch that closely as we push on up. We're a long ways away from um, being in that bearish reversal zone. But it is kind of telling that we rallied so far on Friday without seeing um, a major improvement in T2122. Um, let's take a look at our T2101. Our T2101 did have a massive surge last week. Now remember, a lot of this was on that bearish wave. We need to see that continue. We need to see that pushing up here in that breadth increasing in the market. Watch that closely and carefully. And we are once again approaching this downtrend area here in the chart. So we want to see that continue to improve, see that breadth hold in there nicely. But it is nice to see us up off of this floor. I mean, my goodness, that was a, uh, an amazing low set here in T2101. And then if we take a look at T2107, here's where I've got my little bit of concern. And this is one of those in internals that I was talking about that still shows me a complication. And it, it, it really is reflected in the T2122 indicator as well. And that is the fact that we still have a large percentage of our stocks below the 200 day moving average. Notice we did tick up just a little bit here on Friday. So that is bullish, but our trend here with more and more stocks moving to the downside is not good. So we need to see these starting to perk up and pick up in here. Now we do have a little bit of price support in this area. So it is possible we could come back up there's a lot of weakness showing up here in a lot of stocks in the market. It's There's an amazing number of stocks below their 200 day. And so we'll want to be kind of careful and cautious of that, that um, we want to make sure that this rally back is a true rally back. We don't want to see those institutions allow that to lift up and then pull the rug out from under it, which you know, this kind of gives me that in indication that there might be that possibility, not that that's what's going to happen, but that possibility would exist with so much weakness overall in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar, we got a busy week on that economic calendar with a lot of data that could move us around. And this morning, we're showing bullishness in the market. But remember, we still have to get through some of this data. We've got um, PMI flash this morning, so keep an eye on that at 945. And then we've got existing home sales here. Now, home sales have been sliding just a little bit. Um, if that continues to slide, that would continue to support that bad consumer sentiment number that we had um, last week that, well, we've largely kind of ignored. And then if we take a look, um, we have new home sales coming in here on Tuesday. And then we have a biggie here on um, Wednesday is those durable goods orders. And we've seen those durable goods orders starting to pull back just a little bit. And I think that consumer sentiment certainly could play out in here. We need to see that come in at a bullish number. Otherwise, we could see that, that trouble up here around these tops. Petroleum status and then another big number here on Wednesday, the GDP and, of course, jobless claims coming in there. So we have all a bunch of market moving type events coming in here. And then of course, international trade and personal incomes and outlays. And 
we got Jerome Powell speaking here on Friday, so we'll want to pay attention to that. So a lot of things that could create little stumbling blocks along the way, create that volatility in the market. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now, earnings have really started to diminish pretty dramatically, and we have about 25 companies listed on the calendar today with a good number of those as unconfirmed reports. Um, so I've only pulled out three stocks that are somewhat uh, notable today. Uh, one being JD. Keep an eye on JD. Now we know all these Chinese issue stocks have been suffering tremendously. There may be a time here in the not so distant future where we can see um, these stocks become more of a value play. But I gotta say it's it's probably going to be pretty dangerous. You'll have to have um, you'll have to have some willingness to hold through some volatility as China continues to um, play around with these and add restrictions and, and all of that. So watch that carefully here on JD. It looks like it is perking up here a little bit this morning. And then um, MSGE will be reporting today. Again, not exactly a big notable, not exactly a market moving report, but we'll want to keep an eye on it. Notice we're down here testing some lows in this chart. Um, ugly, ugly downtrend in here. Trying to get a little perk up this morning, so watch that close. And then we have Pan W. Um, you would think with all of the cyber crime and things going on out there that we would see some of these companies doing better than they are right now but you can see breaking that trend we've broken some support in this chart and this morning this could be a critical report to see whether we're going to start returning to the upside and you can see we got a little surge coming in here returning to the upside breaking through that resistance holding it as support and then we've got some upside potential in that chart what we don't want to see is that um, reversal down here because that would create a kind of a negative pattern here you can see we've got a little shoulder ahead and a possible little shoulder that could form over here so watch that carefully let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos and if you find these videos to be useful and helpful to your day as you plan along if you could please click those thumbs up buttons leave those brief comments I would truly appreciate it, it helps the channel to continue to grow and I just want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time it means the world to me honestly guys I, I truly appreciate it and thank you so much to those folks that continue to support the channel with buy me a coffee um, the link is just below the title of the video I just want to say thank you everybody who does that um, I, I truly truly appreciate it hey just really quickly um, I want to let everyone know that I'm going to be doing a, a basic options class here coming up on Thursday and we're allowing non-members of Hit and Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options to come into that class and what we're going to do it's a little bit on the higher side for a basic option pr uh, class but I, I spend an awful lot of time and I'm actually going to be teaching you a directional strategy with options. There's a lot of new traders out here in the market, a lot of traders that are kind of winging it, don't really know the details. And I get a lot of emails on that kind of thing where folks are running into quite a bit of trouble because of the volatility and it's really because they don't understand options. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna be doing for non-members and I'm gonna give you the link um, if you look below the title of the video I will make sure and have a link in there if you were interested in signing up and what we're going to do in that is we are going to um, do, not only do the class but then give you a free month of hit and run candlesticks and right way options and you will be able to reinforce that knowledge um, participating in our trading rooms and seeing how we utilize um, those rules of, of option trading to do a really good job in making money in this market. So if um, 
if that um, is something of interest to you, make sure and check that link. It'll be below the title of the video this morning. Then let's take a look at um, these stocks that are setting up. Now, please keep in mind, guys, that these are not recommendations of buy or sell any security. And I'm gonna move through these kind of fast today because I am running out of time. But I wanna tell you to be a little bit careful here because the volatility of the market is pretty darn extreme. Now, as you guys know, um, um, I have been um, talking about Kroger for a while. This was um, the latest alert in Kroger. And you can see that is doing extremely well, continuing to push up. And we're seeing a lot of these consumer defensive stuff type stocks really catching a lot of rotation so watch that carefully even though we're rallying this would not be um, um, a major bullish point for the market because it's, what it's saying is institutions could be rotating into some of these safer plays which means we might be getting closer and closer and closer to that possible market top but Kroger looking very good take a look at Altria Altria Mo um, has been picking up here moving to the upside and we're looking to find some breakout points notice we've got this little downtrend in here that we're trying to beat this little upside move and we're trying to show that bullishness here in altria one of the reasons we go to things like that are these big dividend yields so keep an eye on that you might also want to i've been mentioning utilities for a while and you can see how utilities are really spiking up that's another one of those a defensive type place um, that you can see um, rotation going to because it's a big dividend paying um, type place it's it's a little bit more security overall in the market so keep an eye on that that's also looking good you might want to take a look at Philip Morris Philip Morris remains very strong notice we broke through this resistance in here holding in this nice little upside trend another big divvy payer showing lots of strength bullish upside potential in that chart now having said that I, i've definitely got to make mention of microsoft this strength in microsoft unbelievable moving to the upside so big tech continues to stay very very strong pushing hard take a look at netflix um, Netflix surged like crazy here last week pushing up into this downtrend in the chart now what's going to be important here is if Netflix can actually push through that resistance or consolidate and prove to hold if we can hold that up here we might engage a trend out here and continue that push to the upside so keep a close eye on Netflix um, you might want to keep an eye on Fastenal now Fastenal had some volatility in it. I had a price alert in this chart right here. It popped up and then ended up with that volatility of the market breaking support. Now we've got housing data coming out this week. And if that housing data comes in, it could certainly help um, with the company that produces the fasteners and things like that, that um, allows those homes to be built. So keep an eye on that. Um, this surged back up strongly last week. So now that we've recovered support, let's make that prove. See if that can follow through on to the upside. Good upside looking chart there. And then if you take a look at um, you know, drug manufacturers, some of these kind of things. Um, Lily, Eli Lilly, very, very strong here in this chart, looking to push on through, um, continuing in this uptrend, looking very bullish. Uh, BMY, BMY also pushing up, trying to break through some resistance in that chart. I would keep an eye on that. Uh, Procter & Gamble, again, another consumer defensive, looking very strong, pushing up in this chart, trying to break out of some resistance, some big resistance, if that can break out and hold up here more upside potential possibly coming in that. You might want to keep an eye on PepsiCo. PepsiCo moving up nicely as you can see if I move this line up here, breaking through that resistance in that chart, trying to hold up here, showing bullishness. I think there may be more upside in PepsiCo. And I'm going to put Coke in there as well. Now Coke has struggled a little bit more with this resistance high up here, but keep an eye on this. This continues in this upside trend. Again, consumer defensive stock really showing some signs of bullishness so hopefully 
you'll find something in that list that might be useful to you. Really quickly, guys, I want to thank everyone for being here, and I want to wish you all the very best today. I want to wish you all great profits, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.